We do computer modeling to, let's say, model a meteor the size of 150 feet in diameter, roughly the size of the iron asteroid that struck Arizona. We can model we in coefficients for its density, for its velocity, for its angle of approach. We can then calculate how much energy is released during that particular impact. We can then conjecture about the consequences. We can say, okay, it's going to release a fireball. There's going to be X amount of material, volume of material injected into the atmosphere. There's going to be fallback material, what we call fallback breccia is going to come back to the Earth, perhaps start secondary fires. What happens, though, if it's 100 impacts or more? You see how suddenly it gets so complicated. What happens if we have meteors falling into a forested area where there can be huge forest fires generated, falling into an arid area like a desert where there's not the forests? We know from Tunguska that about 200 square miles of the impact zone was incinerated. What happens over the oceans? 